think that for all of us, this is probably true, is the first impact was so immediate. It was an absolutely obsession. Obsessed. I mean, I've sort of lived through digital, um, lived through the 90s, the 2000s, the sky is falling, everybody's a reporter, and everyone's like a storyteller, and they're going to make movies with iPhones. Um, and we're sort of swinging back around. It's the unknown, which is particularly exciting, and it is in the forming stage, which is both exciting and scary and terrifying and excruciating um, to make. And so I wanted to have that experience of working through a project from ideation through post-production, um, just to get my hands in it. I've been in and around it for three years, which in this industry is it's pretty, it's like a lifetime, <laughs> um, right? Uh, exactly. And so I am a storyteller at heart. I'm a creator at heart. And so I, I, I jumped into this. And it is painful, and it is excruciating. But what I will say is, Two um, quick things to follow my colleagues here. One is, we have more questions than we have answers. Any one of you have just as much to contribute to any virtual reality experience, be it 360 or CGI, than anyone else. It is a collaborative process, and we're not even sure exactly what the dynamics of any team up front looks like, because we don't know exactly what the frick we're making. I mean, what is VR? People say, I'm a skeptic. I hear filmmakers. I was with a pretty well-known filmmaker not too long ago. Well, I'm a VR skeptic. OK, well, well, what is VR exactly? Like, It's not clear. Are we telling stories? Is it going to be a narrative? Is it experiential? Does it do, it, do you have to have a level of engagement? You just cannot get around the key component, which is your user, your audience, has agency. You can never make them look at anything. You can't. So how do you, and what are the tools that we need, both in the technique, but also in the software and the hardware, right, to create whatever that experience will be? And I think I liken it frequently to, you know, once they made the camera and they figured out, wow, we can take a picture of a train, I'm pretty sure they didn't see Star Wars coming, <laughs> right? And so we're much closer to taking that picture of the train than we are anywhere near Star Wars. I don't think any of us can conceive of what these three-dimensional technologies, and I almost hate the VR-AR distinction because in my mind it doesn't matter. The tools are the same right now. The game engines are critical to making virtual reality, Unity, Unreal, and all you do to make AR is throw some Vaphoria into a Unity function. And so what that workflow looks like um, is evolving, and it's, and it's very painful. I mean, it, it was an auxiliary. I spent three and a half months, and like I said, we're in post on this project, and it's exhilarating and it's excruciating, because we got language problems, even. Like, none of it, we got people from the film, from the stage, we've got technologists, we've got people from television, we all have different languages. So even just agreeing on like a simple concept is a problem. Then you have just iterating tools like to make things like you know very quickly. Then it's just like simple things like blocking, like how far away from the camp, I mean, it is excruciating. I have no idea what I made. <laughs> They're recording the same, I didn't mention the company. No, we didn't waste your money. Um, we, <laughs> I don't really know what we got until literally we're finished. And we but she has a good feeling about it. Yeah, I mean, you know, you don't know, you don't know. You, you just can't know.